Hi, I'm Jeff Halbing, Product Marketing for ST Microelectronics Power Discrete Products. I'm here to introduce an exciting new evaluation board platform for power factor correction that takes advantage of ST's latest technology in second generation silicon carbide MOSFETs and advanced STM32 control. These enable a powerful bi-directional Vienna rectifier style PXC. Let's take a look. Briefly, our agenda. First, I'll introduce the demo board and its key performances and an example application. Second, I'll describe modified Vienna rectifier topologies and the power discrete that enable their performance. I'll then look at the bi-directional system architecture and control scheme before I wrap up summarizing the ST demo board solution. The ST DES PFC BIDIR demonstration board is a 15 kilowatt peak power three leg T-type Vienna rectifier for bridgeless power factor correction. It's targeted for bi-directional power transfer between three phase 380 volt AC and an 800 volt DC bus and based on an optimized STM32 digital platform. It's well suited for the active front end stage and high power charging stations, industrial battery chargers and UPS. The high switching frequency of the silicon carbide MOSFETs and the multi-level structure allow for nearly 99% efficiency, as well as the optimization of passive power components in terms of size and cost. Here's the typical application of an industrial charger. Multi-phase AC is converted to a high voltage DC link bus and then isolated to a DC to DC stage to charge large battery banks for industrial equipment. Nominal power can be as high as 22 kilowatts and output voltage anywhere from 400 volts to 800 volts DC, depending on the battery configuration. However, considering the huge energy storage capacity of these battery banks, we can also utilize them to provide energy back to the grid backward through this power path. A similar approach can be made in an electric vehicle. How do we optimize this power chain? One of the most popular and highly efficient designs for the front end of such a powertrain is the Vienna rectifier. We can look at a couple of modified topologies of this concept and choose between trade-offs. The Type 1 allows for lower voltage-ready devices, but requires the additional power loss associated with a second diode drop to the capacitor bank. Type 2 eliminates this loss at the expense of requiring the devices to have double the voltage rating. Fortunately, silicon carbide diodes and MOSFETs can combine high performance with the high voltage ratings required. There is some cost trade-off and the overall system benefits of efficiency versus cost is up to the designer. ST can provide optimized power diodes and MOSFETs for either choice. Here we compare the performance of both Type 1 and Type 2 Vienna rectifier topologies at 20 kilowatts against three different transistor types, IGBTs, super junction MOSFETs, and silicon carbide MOSFET. Silicon carbide provides the best performance, while the Type 2 topology improves efficiency regardless of switching frequency or transistor selection. So we've decided to pursue the Type 2 configuration in the search for the most efficient operation and to take advantage of the availability of high performance silicon carbide devices. However, we still want a bi-directional power transfer capable power stage. To do this, we'll need to extend the use of silicon carbide MOSFETs to actively replace the D2 diode sockets in the Type 2 topology. The result is the bi-directional PFC system architecture seen here. It requires digital control enabled by the STM32G474 and algorithms developed by ST's Power Systems Lab. Let's take a closer look at the control. Grid to battery shows the control scheme for AC to DC operation as a PFC. It's based on DQ access transformation, both for controlling the current and synchronizing to the grid to a PLL. In particular for PFC operation, the two control loops are referenced to a decoupling inner loop for current control, an outer loop for output voltage control. Thanks to this decoupled control, active and reactive power can be controlled independently. Battery to grid shows the control scheme for DC to AC operation as an inverter. It's still based on two control loops using DQ axis transformation, but in this case the outer loop will control the output power into the AC side via a load or to the grid. The results of the demo board are fantastic. Greater than 0.98 power factor and less than 5% THD at light load, while achieving peak efficiencies of greater than 99%. 
And the solution highlights the full complement of the ST power, analog, and digital portfolios, from silicon carbide MOSFETs to power diodes with wide bandwidth op amps, LDOs, isolated gate drivers, and of course, the power of the STM32 microcontroller. Thank you for listening. For more information, please visit us at www.st.com.